All right, guys, so we got a few things in for our winch, and I wanted to walk you through those. So first of all, we've got our new mount. It comes with a couple arms, so you can just pick it up. They just mount up on here. It comes with hardware and everything. This is $50 on eBay. You can't get any better than that, right? I don't even think I could build it for 50 bucks. But you got nice handles, so you can just pick up the whole unit, slide it into your hitch. This even comes with a pin. Now, the only thing a guy really needs to note about this is that when you put the bolts in, you're going to want to put them in the head on the inside because this unit's huge and uh, you know you don't want that bolt sticking in on the inside stopping it from sitting down in the spot other than that these handles are different lengths okay this one is longer than this one is um, get you a close up on that so you can see it so I'm gonna make sure to put that long handle on this side because my engagement knob is gonna be on that side and I want to make sure I have the room for my knuckles and stuff to flip the engagement knob uh, one other thing to note, and I'm sure this is pretty self-explanatory, is that I took my hook off so that we could slide this through our fair lead and our in this slot that mounts to the fair lead. So let's get down to some installations. I'm just going to use the big old frickin' Earthquake XT here, because why not? And I'm going to cinch this together. There are gaps, like they leave these handles pretty wide open and loose. So I'm just going to cinch that gap together, I think. Uh, no reason not to for me. So. This thing does use lock washers. With lock, lock nuts, rather. Okay, so I got my unit just kind of sitting on top of here right now. It's not bolted down or anything, but I mean, it seems like it'd be right about there-ish. The fairly doesn't drag on this. Doesn't seem to, or I'm sorry, the rope rather doesn't drag on this. I'm gonna put my fairly on there and hopefully that'll actually you know, lift it up center maybe. Um, it really seems to fit just perfect. <laughs> Okay, so I dipped into my first bag of bolts, um, it's one without the silicone boots in it, because I believe this is my mounting bolt bag. And uh, we've got a set of four lock washers, washers, nuts, and uh, bolts. I'm pretty sure these are our actual mount bolts because of the square uh, nut goes up into the body of the winch. I don't know what these are for yet, probably the Fairlead. These are, I'm thinking, the Fairlead mount because they're shiny and beautiful. And I have no idea what this little fella is for, but we're going to get into it.
Okay, well I've got two bolts started in here. Uh, I do want to show you something on this mount. Hopefully, you can look down inside of there. You can see things don't quite line up. Um, that's on all four corners. And basically what I did was, you should probably drill that out, but I'm lazy and I didn't really feel like it. So I'm like, you know what, let me just see if I can like hand thread them in there with a socket until, until the worst happens, until it grabs, you know, something. And then I'll just kind of give it a light turn in with my ratchet. And that's what I did and it actually works. These are threading in just fine. <laughs> I'll be god dang. We're ready to put the winch in the truck. Um, this is what we got so far, right? So our entire setup is bolted together and ready to go. The fair lead's on, everything's cool. This handle is pretty sweet, man, I gotta say. It even comes with its own little pin, which is pretty sweet. Um, so this whole unit is ready to rock. Uh, I did run into one issue here, and that is with this big ass winch, um, the nuts that came for the Fairlead bolts didn't quite fit between the plate and the winch itself, so I had to go to the hardware store and get some jam nuts for that. I've also got my plugs in, and I'll show you guys how I set these up, but they come with nice waterproof seals, and I got some tangs in there, and then we gotta shove these things in through the back, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up soldering my wire into this, and maybe even crimping it a little bit. But uh, one thing we can look at is my wire, okay? I went ahead and I soldered. I didn't have any sheet shrink big enough, so I just taped it, and I'm gonna end up putting a loom over this anyway so it'll look real nice. But I cut the pieces off the wires that I didn't use for the winch that already had eye loops on them, and then I just soldered them in. Did the same thing to my power wire. But I was up here looking at where I wanted to hook it up, and if you look right there, there's a nice power bank on these Chevys. So all these studs are ready and it'll be capped. I'm just gonna run the wire down. We'll even put a little bit of foil on it for heat and she'll be good to go. Stay tuned. All right guys, well, as you can see, we've got ourselves a winch. I just kind of have the thing setting up here, but it's all wired in. And right now I just have, so I have this thing down here. So I can just unplug it, take my new plug from the winch side. I left a little extra on here, I don't know why, I just thought, you know, I should. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Plug it in like that, wait until it clicks, there it is. <sighs> then we can take this. And, sorry. Perfect! And I mean, it's pretty clean install. Uh, I didn't get crazy with fasteners on my wire. Basically what I did was I ran a two gauge wire, red one back from my power box here. You can see it's actually pretty clean. This is the wire. I put some foil tape around it down there uh, just to keep the heat at bay. But that runs all the way down underneath the truck and to the back. It was real easy and I just have it held up by uh, zip ties. I didn't even get too crazy. Then I just mounted this plug here and, and I wired this plug into the winch so that we can just plug it in. Not too shabby.